You get Amazon emails that say, we think you might like. No, mm -hmm. I've unsubscribed from all those. But go on. But you know what I refer to. Yeah. Yeah. So I got an email from Amazon that said, hello, Rick, we found something that we think you might like. And they're recommending the last married couple in America with George Siegel and Natalie Wood. What's funny about that is I'm in it. Really? Yeah. I play their kid. Natalie Wood's last film. She was a very sweet lady. Filmed it on the Universal Backlot. That's pretty funny. I didn't laugh once. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like button. Uh, today, uh, what are we doing? You know Natalie Wood. If you think you don't, West Side Story. She's the original Maria on that film. Maria. So Maria's my mama. I just met a girl named Maria. That's actually not a bad audition song. I need a new audition song for musical theater, but I just, I want to do something from a new play. Nude play. Very, very Today new Today we have uh, something show. from a, it's a podcast segment. It's why Indian, Indian weddings are the best. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with this comedian at all? Andrew Schultz. Dice Clay? Yes. Andrew Dice Clay, I'm very familiar with. No, Andrew Schultz, no. He, he's been really big on, um, on TikTok lately. And I, not, I'm not like, on TikTok anymore. He puts his segments. Got his it. shows on TikTok. Um, and so I guess in this segment, he's talking to this gentleman. Akash Got it. So this is his show, Singh. and he has a guest. Yeah, and he, I don't know why he's dressed All in... Right. Uh, yeah, why the, is he in that kind of garb? Maybe there's an Indian wedding. All right. I have no idea. It's not cultural appropriation, right? Uh, apparently, Indians always tell us that's not a thing for Indians. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm told. All right. Here we go. I, I had an absolutely fucking amazing time at this wedding. I do think that Indian weddings are the best weddings. I've been thinking about this a lot. I have been too. And I'm not saying this for pandering reasons. I think they are the best. Oh, weddings. I recognize him. And, yeah, I've seen him. He's very why. popular. Yeah. Um, okay. Expectation. As long as your reality exceeds the expectation, you think it's an amazing time. Yeah. Right. The cool thing about an Indian wedding, especially as like a white person or non-Indian that's going into it, right, is outside of my interactions with you. Yeah. Wow. Hilarious. Interactions with you. Yeah. My only interactions with Indians are in like the highest levels of professionalism, right? right. A doctor, don't be joking around with me that much if you're a doctor. Yeah, yeah. A dentist, don't be kidding around. Don't show too much personality. Uh, Fix me, bro. Yeah, yeah. So you see like this muted version of Indians, right. right? If always in some sort of professional setting, they're not being that silly because oftentimes the jobs they choose are very high stakes. Yeah. You're the CEO of a company, don't be kidding around. Guy who yeah, runs yeah. Google, make sure to Google Google's. Don't right? Time. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And then outside of that, it's a very uh, tightly knit community, so there's not that many people from the outside that are going to get access to it. Right. So the first time a lot of non-Indians see Indians actually be Indian. Indian. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Is that a wedding? wedding? Yeah. Right. We assimilate everywhere else. Everywhere else, hey, what do you do? We'll figure it out. We'll keep our stuff as much as we can, but we're yes. going to assimilate to what you do. Indian wedding, you're going to assimilate to us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's so true. interesting is the assimilation process is nothing. Yeah. We're way more similar. Yeah. You like to party your asses off, yep. drink, dance, and the cool thing about it is the dancing is about enjoyment. It's abandoned. Not yeah. Romance. No. Yeah. Men dance with men. Yeah, one hundred percent. Old people dance with young people. Yeah. Kids, everybody. It was dancing. like a rave. It was like just move your body. Move your body. Yeah. Whatever dude, you got to do. Like Burning Man. Like a little yeah. bit. <laughs> At no point in time we were like, oh, I think they're trying to hook up or that kind of yeah, shit like that. It wasn't no, no. sexualized. No. It was just everybody go have a good time. I didn't even think about that, yeah. I'm telling you, man, a really cool aspect was that when you see everybody dancing, first of all, Indians can bust it down, but there are also Indians that can't. But it's They still like dance their ass off. To dance. Right. If you're a white person, you're not dancing at no black wedding. And if you are, <laughs> you're not dancing at a Latin wedding. You're not making fool of yourself at a black or Latin There's wedding. There's no line dance where you got to get it right. It's just it. have fun. That's how yeah. you get it right. Yeah. If you're having fun, you're doing it right. If you're not, at least from the, the outside. The only line dance we have is, I haven't even, hadn't even done this. A Punjabi thing is called a real good day at the end where you just get in line. Everybody just runs around the room like a train. Yeah. That's it. There's no steps. If you don't know the Cupid shuffle, you don't know the shit. You out. You right. Out a fucking retard. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can run in a line, man. Hands He's, in the air. Hands like, in the air. One of the things about dancing, I think it's most uncomfortable for people is they don't know what to do with their arms. Yeah. So even if they are too. Or they don't have like, rhythm. Snap, yeah. 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 Flat, they don't know. And then you guys just have it built in. <laughs> Up yeah. in the fucking air. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. 
everything. I was telling them every white people don't know. What do you think this shit is? Black people not knowing to do with their fucking hands. They had to build it into the dance. The macarena is all. What do I do with my hands? Right? I thought that was flotting, like trying Flat, to swat, 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 swat the plots. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought it was. My bad. I told every white person that was uncomfortable to dance, you just gotta shrug and then do something with it. Just shrug, me, and then just do whatever you want, and it all flies. So we're watching everybody just like let loose. And again, I can't speak for you guys, but that was my experience. And I was like, oh shit, like I don't have to feel insecure. Everybody is either looking amazing or making a fool of themselves because it's all in the in the guise of fun. As yeah. long as you're having fun, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, also, food. Yeah. <laughs> Indian food is perfect wedding food. Yeah. Indian food is is stews. Yeah. Right? Like, if you go to, like, wedding, usually wedding food sucks. Yeah, like, I didn't realize that. It sucks. Like, yeah. And it's like... You don't want You'll get the beef or the chicken or the fish, and you're gonna uh, sit at a table with people you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like lunchroom food for yep. kids. Like that's the reason why it sucks when you go to public school. You get like this little bag lunch. Right. It sucks because you have yeah. to make 300. The Indian food is built for it. Yeah. The longer it sits in the stew, the better. The better it gets. The yeah. stew. <laughs> so this delicious food. Everybody's having a great time. I mean, it was just. It was just I amazing. didn't think about because my parents when they would when like I have all these Indian kids I grew up with a few of my groomsmen. Is that Rick Flair? Just, my our parents, my <laughs> friends had like it. every weekend we'd go to each other's house. They would just move the furniture in the living room and just put on music and dance. That's what a party was to me. Yeah. I didn't know you like went out to clubs and shit like that. Yeah. And there was always this thing they would do that I didn't realize I do it now all the time. If you're not dancing, they just pull you in and make you dance. Yeah. It doesn't fucking, there is no judgment. There is no, are you good or are you not? Just yeah. move your body, have fun. That's all we want. Yeah. And I didn't realize that until you said it just now. That's what I do. When I saw you guys at the bar on mm. Friday, I was like, where the fuck are they? I yeah. went looking for you. And then I was like, every one of you, I was like, get your ass on the floor. Yeah. And then anybody that was insecure, I would just yank them in or shove them to the center and just be like, just go. Who cares? So you know my girl is like, hates attention. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. she does not it's very want sweet. fucking it's very attention. Sweet. She I, she was dancing in the middle of the circle. Yes. That does not happen unless I, she feels incredibly comfortable. She would never do that. She right. was like, this is, actually, this is what she said. She's like, this is actually great practice for our wedding. I'm yeah. like, you wouldn't dance in the circle. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, That's funny. Like, it was just really cool to see that environment. And that doesn't exist everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. And you I was guys trying got to, something. I was trying to think what are the best way or why are Indian weddings so fun? And I was thinking it's just... Any culture where family is really important, the wedding is probably fun. I've heard Greek weddings are fire. Yeah. Because it's a big family culture. Yeah. Italian weddings Italians. are probably fire because it's yep. family and it's food. So probably fire. But then Indian weddings, we just... India, if you go to India, it's just mad colors everywhere. Dude, everywhere. I, it's the best wedding, man. Also, just the idea that, like, you want people to embrace your culture and dress up. Yeah. Like, it was fucking Halloween for us. Like, we're, <laughs> we're trying to match shit. Yeah. Like, look at these things. We kept them, right? Yeah. We got yeah. sneakers. The so whole many thing. people wanted to keep the, the bug, the turban. I was surprised. I yeah, you kept yours. Oh, so was many I not people... supposed to? Was no, you absolutely can. Okay. Just, yeah, 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 just don't, like, throw them on the ground or whatever. We don't, we don't mistreat it. But everybody was like, no, nah, I want to keep mine. That wasn't Indian. The Indians were like, no, nah, you can have it. You... Yo, hit this, hit this shit every once in a while. When you say something, nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, the pug was fire, dude. The pug yeah. was fire. And it was cool going to the Gurdwara. Gurdwara. Yeah. This guy was telling me that um, if you're if you're hungry anywhere in the world, just go to a Gurdwara. Yeah. They They'll feed you. Feed you. Yeah, like, it's, they, it's... they were feeding, like, the soldiers that they were fighting against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, right. like crazy. Yeah, it's a big thing. It's called Lunger, and it's like a big, like, practice for six, which is, like, we feed people who need food. Like, even if we're beefing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's the actual name of the Golden Temple? I forget. The Varsa. I'm on the sub. They, they feed like 50,000 people a day. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it was just really beautiful to like learn about that because we were in where the ceremony was. Yeah. Uh, that being said, that's my last religious ceremony at a wedding. I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> well, to do it. Convert it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I, well, yeah, I'm, I am sick. I, you, you became sick. I'm sick. Mark bent the knee. Can I tell you something? Like, this is something really no. important. Another thing Indians won't do at their wedding. This is really important. I'm they convinced the there is so, no correct way to say it. You told us <laughs> it's <laughs> seek and sick Friday. interchangeably. Yeah. We dress up in suits on Friday. We come <laughs> Saturday. All the Indians are in tuxedos and suits, and we're the only ones dressed in <laughs> <laughs> you can wear, that's why I said when you were like, what's <laughs> your name? Hello! We're looking like assholes. We're looking like we're making fun no, of the people. Right, not, right. Not, not at all. It is, you can wear Western or Eastern. That's why when you asked me. Why'd you guys like, go Western? We would have went Eastern with you guys well, on Friday. And here's why a lot of Indians, if you go to a lot of Indian weddings, you can't really wear that suit again. 
if you wear a suit as a dude, you just mix and match shirt and tie and that's it. So I don't need, it's, it's almost like, you know how women need outfits for every wedding or whatever? Like if you wear that outfit again, everybody's gonna be like, you wore that shit. If I have a suit, I have a black suit, I just change out the shirt and tie and I'm good. Right. I have to buy a new one of those every single time I go to a wedding. And so it's like... I've been wearing the same suit for the last three years. Every single wedding I go. <laughs> yeah. Your wedding, your yeah. wedding, yeah. my own wedding. That's what we do. Same exact suit. I have one suit. So it's easy for Indian wedding and works to do both. So I'm like, I'll just wear the suit at night. Because then I just change out the shirt and tie. I don't have to shop. It's convenience. Still, it's laziness. All the Eastern people. No, Western, no, 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 like, I, I, Why are you like making Eastern. it? Yeah. We're not the only assholes. We showed up basically in blackface. <laughs> we're wearing <laughs> suit on Saturday night. And I, had, I was walking in the hallway and I saw your your cousin, who's maybe the most handsome Indian person I've ever seen in my life. He's yeah. way 2.0. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Shit. It's 2.0. Yeah. 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 You wish. Was it Rithik Roshan? It's whoa, whoa, whoa. so handsome. He's like, no, no, like no. Oh, I cost 3000 so. yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. 100%. Remember when the Terminator had to fight the liquid? He's the liquid. So. <laughs> what? He, you've met him. No, he I would have remembered that. Remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I would have remembered that. We would have been blown that. away Bro, by that. Spread so. that I like those spike stands. Booty yeah. Booty. Damn. <laughs> he told me. He told me. <laughs> Son, I couldn't even talk to him. And he's he the sweetest the, kid on earth. Don't be sweet. Yeah, yeah. don't be yeah. sweet. Don't be sweet. Uh, he's the blue nice. eyes, fair <laughs> skin. I'm going to slap them in his mouth. Because you're excited. Yeah, I keep saying excited, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just shit off your stomach. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, that was a handsome motherfucker. I was insecure talking to him, bro. Super. Yeah. yeah. It felt uncomfortable, and he was in a tux. He goes, oh, you guys are going with the traditional attire tonight. While I'm seeing him in the tux, I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, I'm trying to set us up to look foolish. Yeah. Yeah. You set us up to look foolish. Let me tell you and something. you set us up at the ceremony, at the sick ceremony. You didn't tell me we were going to be sitting there for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> that was great. That was very funny. That was uh, great. Yeah, the uh, Indian weddings are... I've only ever been to one, uh, but it was before the channel. Mm. A friend of mine who... Um, is, they're friends of mine. Uh, a white dude and uh, Indian who... Her family is Punjabi. Uh, I went to their wedding probably five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was so much fun. Um, their, their families, obviously, yeah. as we know, like yeah, 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 yeah. weddings, and they don't care. They just dance their asses off. But apparently, I dance to a lot of songs I now love. At sure, thing, but I, I, right. did, I did not realize. Yeah, um, were uh, part of that. If I if I went now, I'd be requesting certain. Songs. Absolutely, you would. <laughs> Ask the DJ to play certain songs. Yeah, and it's very cool. I remember every time in India. Uh, there's always a wedding going on somewhere. We I'm, wanted to go when we were there. Yeah, I remember the two two different times that I was in Kolkata with Indrani. We're walking, and there were I, I just I wanted so badly. You know the wedding's happening before you ever get to the wedding. Oh yeah, because you hear it, and then when you get up there, I mean it is banging. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I said what I did about the inter interchangeability of Sikh and Sikh, because while we've been watching Indian matchmaking, we've watched multiple episodes now six and six themselves mm -hmm. constantly interchanging so, the pronunciation i turned to Andrani and went it's got they say it both ways i, th I think w what i've been told by people uh is that it's sick but they will not correct somebody if they say seek well they themselves i, I heard there they are a whole family yeah. it's important to them that they're marrying a a, a Sikh or sick person yeah. punjabi it's a big deal, and the whole family is having conversations about it with people, and they're just interchangeably using sick and seek. Yeah. And it happened multiple it's times crazy. throughout the seasons. So uh, I would love to go to but anyway. Uh, when we were in India, I, I was hoping somebody would be having a wedding that we could just yeah. like, crash. Uh, unfortunately, and uh, we, didn't we didn't do. Uh, we did head cover when we went to the Golden Temple because yeah. that's just out of respect. You got to do it. We could have done the full head garb, but we we were. But even though everyone was saying it's totally fine, we just were not. Ready to, As a, to uh, white American, to, you have to just be very careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it just it, it can. It, we didn't want to give the appearance at all that we were yeah. in any way disrespecting yeah. a place that is a pretty holy place yeah, for yeah. millions. Uh, if you haven't seen our Golden Temple video, please go check those out. What a great out. place! I, the, we were only in Amritsar for a day, a day, and we did so much. Yeah, in that time, I we think did. we had like five. The one or thing we didn't get to videos. do because it was closed that day, was we walked by the location that's the mm -hmm. uh, the massacre. massacre but yeah. it was closed, unfortunately. But we did see that cool sculpture. Yeah. 
No, um, my favorite food we had the entire time we were in India was in yeah in Amritsar. Yeah, every single thing and, I had was. And amazing. there is in the Golden Temple, all of it. We all agreed about it. Oh yeah, uh, that Indrani and Corbin and I, and we got to eat. Um, there is just this peace and presence and kindness pervading every single human being in that place. Uh, it, it's it's. I look forward to being able to go back someday. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Very funny. Um, I love those yeah. mic stands, actually. I wanna, ah, those I mic stands were killer. You need to have, I think you need to have a a heavy yeah. table. You, should, you just have a heavy stand. No, no, you like you need to have some because I'm pretty sure they clamp onto something. So oh, need, I thought they had a stand on the ground and they came off. No, the stand. I think I think it, they're clamped. Anyway, they were clamped onto the coffee table, which I think was like a marble coffee table, so it was like heavy and sturdy enough to hold and and move. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a fun segment. I've always like wanted to lot. like have a, a setup. I just need to have like I think at least two to three cameras for like the podcast, right? Which is why I haven't done another one because I, I want to do it in like a multi camera thing, right? But it's uh, that's expensive because I need to buy more. Yep, stuff that way. Yeah. Anyway, it's very funny, uh, very great. Uh, let us know if there's other podcasts like segments like this, and if you're having a wedding, please invite us. We'd yeah. love to go. We come. Just